Okay, so to make the orange chili shrimp, you want to start off with some jumbo sized shrimp. As you can see, mines are pretty large and the recipe to me just comes out better if you use the large shrimp or try and find it. Now I'm just going to season it with some black pepper, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And um, I also want to mention that I have two pounds of shrimp here. So if you're using four pounds, you would want to double and it would be a teaspoon of black pepper. So now I'm going to add in about a half a teaspoon of umami seasoning. So umami seasoning is going to add a depth of flavor to this dish. It's, it has like a meaty flavor. It's made from mushrooms. So like in a lot of vegan cooking, they'll use this to give food like a meaty texture. I mean, excuse me, a meaty flavor. Now I'm adding in some garlic powder, some red chili peppers. Um, you can make it as spicy or as non-spicy as you like, but that's the chili element of the dish. Um, and now I'm just mixing it just to see the amount of seasoning I have in here. And then we're gonna continue to season with um, some salt. As you can see, that was not a lot of salt, um, about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt for this two pounds of shrimp. Now I'm going to add in some cornstarch and the cornstarch is going to give the shrimp a nice texture. I'm going to add two teaspoons of this for the two pounds of shrimp. And now for the orange element of the orange chili shrimp, I'm adding in some orange zest. This is going to give the shrimp a nice hint of citrus flavor. So you just want to add that in. This is about two teaspoons of um, orange zest that I'm zesting over it and make sure you save the orange because we're also going to use the juice of the orange in a later part of the cooking process. Now I'm going to go in with some ginger and I'm going to season my shrimp with about a half a teaspoon of ginger powder. I'm going to mix that all together really well. Make sure that the cornstarch and the zest of the orange is evenly incorporated in the shrimp and I'm going to move that aside and let it sit as we prep and cook our Brussels sprouts. So I have some whole Brussels sprouts here. This is a family package. I'm going to use a little more than half of this package. If I run out, I'll make some more later in the week. So I'm just cutting off the hard part from the bottom and then splitting them in half. And now I'm going to take a foil pan and I'm going to spray it with nonstick spray. Any zero calorie nonstick spray will work here. And now I'm going to season my Brussels sprouts. So first we're going to start off with two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil. This is going to help us um, help the seasonings uh, spread throughout the Brussels sprouts when we mix it together. Now I'm adding a teaspoon, generous amount of black pepper. And then I am going to add in a teaspoon of salt and also a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now I'm gonna mix everything up really well, make sure that all of the seasonings are incorporated and mixed out throughout the Brussels sprouts. And now I'm just simply gonna dump those sprouts on the pan and we're gonna roast those in the oven at 425 for about seven minutes or until you get a nice brown color that you like and also a texture that you like. So now I am taking my pan and we're gonna get ready to cook our shrimp. So I'm taking two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil. Once the pan gets hot, I'm gonna add in half the shrimp because uh, we don't wanna overcrowd the pan. And now I'm gonna add in some coconut aminos, um, about a tablespoon of that, two tablespoons of that. And then I'm going to add in the juice of half an orange. Make sure you squeeze it out really well. Then I'm going to add in um, a fourth of a cup of chicken stock and now I'm just gonna mix everything up together and you see that sauce in there is going to thicken because of the uh, cornstarch that we put on the shrimp that's gonna be really lovely it's gonna be really good so now you're gonna know that your shrimp is done when all of it is pink 
as soon as you see that there's no gray the shrimp is done you don't want to overcook it my Brussels sprouts are done now now I'm just going to mix everything all together very nicely you do not have to mix the shrimp with the Brussels sprouts if you do not want to but I like the flavor from the shrimp getting on the Brussels sprouts for myself